Yo. It's a ting. We're starting. With some serious technical difficulties today, like... Seriously, took me a while to get this game running <laughs> after this recent update. And I found some genius on the Steam forums talking about launching the game directly with the batch file and running as an admin. So we made it work, we made things happen that way. Um, but then funnily enough, just now as well, like OBS seems to not be recognising it as a full screen application. And I suppose that might be because of launching it through the batch file and skipping the like launcher.exe file, application file, or whatever. I'm guessing OBS isn't seeing it as an application. That would be my guess. Anyway, so we're just using screen capture. Um, which should be fine, I guess. Anyway, the main thing is we're getting back into it. We just got to convert our um, our game file, our world. So that I'm converting our world to the new version. <sighs> what a challenge! What a challenge today's been. But the first project is on board stream in the new setup in the new room. Still work in progress in here, but boom, I've got a camera directly above me now, like directly above the monitor, I mean, it's pretty sick in here, <laughs> like, it's good, it's good having a little, uh, a little man cave, like a little den, I'm feeling it. Right, we're about half done with this conversion, God, I should have done this before and all. Yeah, it's sick in here. Like, I did put a video up of the process of me turning this. We used to be in a little spare bedroom. And now it is definitely legit. So I don't know how long I've got tonight. Maybe an hour, maybe two. I need to go into town. That's the plan for, for today's sort of Jimi Hendrix episode. We did a lot of wood chopping last time. And um, we've got a good sort of pathway between our place and the ambulance now. But what I need to do is bang out a, uh, a little trip into maybe Rosewood. Rosewood's sort of probably the most friendly town. <laughs> Not that anywhere is particularly friendly in Zomboid, but... I'd say it's the most kind of accessible. We've been there once before. I'd want to go to the bookshop there and to the clothes shop in preparation for winter. I think that's really it. But if we can get into the Giga Mart and grab a load of uh, processed foods as well, then we'll do that. But the Giga Mart will probably be fairly inaccessible I would imagine it's going to probably be a bit too busy in there but we'll see, we'll see how we get on if this actually even works <laughs> I already had a false alarm like I started this stream about an hour ago and just couldn't get the game to launch ok we go, click start come on baby Okay, we're in. Looking good. We're looking fine. We've got our fresh cabbages. We've got our tree branches on us. That's a bit weird. Dash them on the floor. Although we can create spears out of them. So maybe we could take them with us. Let's back up spears and those two as well. Spears are going to be our main weapon now. It's the plan. Oh, I wanted those in this bag too. Um, we have all this wood glue on us because we've been repairing axes. So I guess we can chuck all that stuff back in. We don't want to take that with us to town. 
indeed, we don't need to take the axe with us either. It would be good to find more axes. That would be one thing that we could definitely go looking for. The kitchen knife's in decent condition. Do we want to take one that's perfect, though? All right, let's trade it out for the one that's in better, better nick, just in case we rinse through it all. Probably unlikely, but you never know. We we'll need to take a lot of cigarettes with us. And maybe we should check on... I think I want like a 20 pack. <laughs> I always like to take a round number. So I feel like it's legit. Okay, one other thing to do before we consider leaving is... The book trick. Open everything up. Because we are going to be going looking for books. And we need to kind of have an awareness of our skills as well, because we are only storing books that we actually need. So, like, for example, if we see a Carpentry for Beginners book, it might not show up as being open like this. However, we obviously don't need to pick that one up. So we need to kind of have a bit of an awareness of what we've read already. And also then what what we've done there will help massively too. Other than that, I think we'll check on our crops to see if we can take any more cabbages with us at this point. Because we do have tons of seeds. And those are actually ready to harvest. So should we just harvest those? They're all well watered, but it has been a while since they've been watered. So I'd also be tempted to just water them all before we leave. Which I think we might do right now. Or do we want to do that in the morning? We want to maybe have a sleep. Let's have a smoke. Cool. Yeah, let's let's try and sleep if we can. Are we gonna be there we go? Okay, we were like woke up straight away from a nightmare, so that's not ideal in the slightest. Let's water our plants now then, I guess. They can only take another 15 each, so that's cool. Probably won't even need to... Oh, only a 10 there. They must have been watered more recently, because they were the ones I planted recently. I would say. Okay, so everyone's nice and watered. How much water's left in the thingy? Still over half. Okay, well, let's leave it up here for now then. Gorgeous. Okay, so there's probably enough spears to take with us. I mean, short blunt is where we really have our experience you see so we could take with us what we're actually good at which I believe would be the lead pipe is that what we were using and loving we did take a lot of lead pipes there but no let's 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 level spears spears are good I do like them and we do want to level it a bit got our poisonous berries there should we see if we can get back to sleep? Let's have another cigarette as well, because that helps the 
anxiety somewhat. And then we see if we can get back to sleep yet. Not tired enough. Okay. Well, let's just get let's just get going then. Let's get get to town. Let's take those cabbages with us. Cuz we don't want them to spoil cuz we're like away for too long or whatever. So let's just take them. They didn't turn into seed bearing in the meantime, did they? No. Have we filled up all our water bottles? We could fill one. Have a drink. Fill the guy. Get going. So look at the amount of logs here. This is awesome. <laughs> so funny. But this will, this will be a genuine, like, pathway to bring our, our vehicles directly in. And I think a road in the long run, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Even if we do it out of, like, wood. But I do want to see if we dig it with a shovel and we turn it into that kind of soil soily type texture. If that's enough. Oh yeah, the other thing we should probably check. Why am I over encumbered now? Just the amount of cabbages I've got on me, probably. Yeah, that's plainly what it is. Let's chuck all those in the backpack then. Okay, none of the traps have worked yet. Do we want to check or do we need to add more bait to them? Do we need the cabbage in our inventory in order to do that? Is that why it's not giving me the option? Yeah, okay. So it seems like sometimes the bait just disappears, even though the trap doesn't go. Those two are saying remove bait though, so those two are fine. Okay, so we can probably eat the rest of this cabbage that we've got here now. Is our weight still decreasing? It is. See, I mean, finding some more fattening foods would be a good thing. What's the car looking like? The car's looking okay still. It's actually the engine and one of the tyres that's the biggest concern. Gas, we're doing fine. Could do with the toppy, but we'll get to Rosewood and back. No problem, I think. Okay. Let's get going. So you can kind of see the car bobbling. But it seems to do that whether there are bushes or not. What I would be curious to work out, yeah, is if we were to dig all of the earth. Does that help? Does that. Like, probably not, I would guess. But that would be a guess. I can't quite remember the route either. So we're going to probably have to look it up <laughs> in a moment.
I guess we want to make these trips count, don't we? We do. We do want to try and make them count. So I wonder if there's anything else that we really need. Like if we could like find a load of ice cream and things like that. I think that would be amazing. Okay, let's just have a cheeky pause here and just look at this map. So we've come up here along to there, that's it, isn't it? Okay, yes, yeah, so we cut through those. I remember because we went to those warehouses that time. Okay, it's kind of easy. Those warehouses. Don't think there's much need for us to go to warehouses yet. I think we've probably got enough to last us the first year or two. In terms of like nails and things, I could be wrong. We could get through it really quickly. And axes, we might run out of axes before we kind of would like. We are going to start seeing zombies again, which in the, I think in my last stream I didn't see a single one because I just stayed in the woods. <laughs> if I stay at my base, like I just don't see anyone. <laughs> it's kind of nice. So these are the sessions where I, you know, when I go out and do these trips, these are the ones where my life's on the line. You know, we'll be alright. I think the turning's any minute now. I think. <laughs> Could it be? A right turn. Have we come too far? Don't think so. But like... Is it? No. I don't know. Have we come too far? No. We're just about to reach it. Okay. Panicking. It's gonna be now. Any minute now. Here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot this car's right there. I did remember that. Just as I saw him. Here we go. Starting to see some goons. This is the tough one to squeeze through, I think. Uh oh. Not ideal. Got there in the end. Probably caused some serious damage there, but it's fine. The engines are so loud, I swear I've turned the sounds down like as low as they'll go as well. <laughs> There's no stopping it though. Right, so through here, isn't it? There's a road. Yes. That's the ticket. Very nice. I think this turns into a, a normal piece of road and that's when it starts to get particularly busy. See lots of zombies about. From what I remember. 420.
pretty sure we checked all the cars on this route as well last time we did this trip, so we don't need to worry about doing that. Here we go. Oh, engine died. It's always reassuring. Yeah, here we go, see? Got some we've got to do some fairly decent weaving here. Keep our bonnet and engine in order. I think what's going to be really tough is actually managing to um, get settled. Because arriving in a big vehicle like this isn't easy. Always end up getting much more attention than you, than you hope for, you know. Okay, whoops. Let's take a few out there. I'll break a few eggs to make an omelette, as they say. Look at this, this is starting to get quite dense. I don't remember this little kink in the road, but it must have been. So I'm pretty sure we're in the right place right now. Here we go, big crossroads. So, where we pulled up last time was down here. Hoping we can do the same. Get a bit of a wiggle on. Okay, there's actually a load of people here. You can see the bodies from where we parked last time. Okay. This looks pretty quiet. we got one hit kills that's what I'm talking about I feel like I can hear more okay we get more one hit kills here yes so many one hit kills there, that was perfect. That was perfect. Oh man, it feels like it's been ages since I've played with combat in this game. Okay, that was less smooth, that one, but still seemed to work. Does, all does the job. Anyone got anything interesting? No, not really. It's getting to morning, but we have successfully parked. And we've got access to the main road without too many too many crowds around. So I think we pulled that off, that little lap we did of that building. Worked a right treat, that. So we could go for the Pizza World and Spiffo's combo. I think a lot of the food in there will be fresh and probably no good for us. Yeah. I think we've pulled one there. Yeah, we have. We've pulled a couple actually. Okay. Are we seriously tired already? So bad. I don't want to sleep in that car. In that ambulance. It's too... That's too risky, I think. A motel room might be better. On the top floor. Depending on how busy this motel looks. Let's see what the... What the front car park's looking like. Yeah, see, this looks manageable, I think. We get a couple of kills in here. 
and then head upstairs into one of those rooms. Okay, we got someone following us. Keep our creep on here. They both had. I was too close for that little swipe. <laughs> oh, I do. Okay. This could make for a nice secondary base, like a, just a little motel room on the outskirts here. Like an outpost, should we say. Great, doors open. No alarm. Seeming good so far. Bathroom checks out. Hello. I suppose one of the things we really want is a better bed, isn't it? So we could do that while we're here. Because we do want, like, if not a crafted bed, well, not a crafted bed, if not, like, one of the fancy ones, at least just, like, a decent, like, normal bed. Like, these ones that just don't give you any pain, you know? A quick smoke. And a quick cabbage. Alright, we've got two that aren't fresh anymore, so let's eat both of those right now for breakfast. We might get a bit sad. But what can you do? If it makes us bored... Nope, we're fine. We survived. Okay, so that's looking scary. So we need to get down these stairs and get away from them. Quickly. without going around the back because that's uncharted territory. Okay, I think we've got room to fight these two over here. Maybe that window's distracted that guy, that's good. We've just got to take our time with this, like, take our time. Okay, there we go. There we go. Cowboy hat. It's tempting. It's very tempting. <laughs> okay, I don't know about two at once here. I'll have to give it a try. Okay, good. Couldn't have asked for a better time. For a cheeky one hitter there. That other one was a tough customer though. I think you've seen me, haven't you? I think we do want to be reasonably like in and out with this mission as well. Like we don't want to spend like a week here doing all this because we got farms to attend to and things like that, you know. Do you think though they're all going to see me because they're all pointing towards me, those guys? See how well we can creep here. Okay. Yeah, they've all seen me, right? Because they're walking towards, they're looking at me. Oh no, I don't think so. That guy's definitely seen me. <laughs> no questions. Did they hear that? No. Okay, so this place, this restaurant here. I don't know about creeping around the front. The back looks easier. Looks like there's only three there and we've already separated one. I 
Who are those guys still haven't seen? That chair's like on the wrong side of the wall. <laughs> it's kind of random. Take the garbage bag. Yeah, okay, good. Can take this guy out, I think. No probs. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, good. So there's the bookshop there. Now, this alleyway here is risky, probably, but also tempting because going down the front, like the main street, is obviously going to be an issue. Now, this one's clocked as here. I mean, unless we just take it really, really slowly, trying to kill them one by one. But I do like the idea of let's just have a little peek. Let's just look at the alleyway. Like. Let's just see. I mean, that one there is going to want to come and play for sure. That one has seen us too, so let's try and kill this one quicker before we end up. What? We've never known that attack to not just kill straight away. That's interesting. That is definitely a first. Okay, yeah, we're actually pulling them from the alleyway here. So as long as no one's behind us. Excellent. What a time for a result like that. There's only two there, yes. See, so this alley could, if it's clear. The scary thing is what's on the other side of it, but we can always, we know we're fairly clear behind us. So let's actually not move too slowly. Just a little bit of normal walking here. Okay. Okay, not the worst. Can we get one kill here? Yep. Yeah. Can we get another? Yeah. Can we get a third? The, the window on the top story just smashed. Can they jump out of, of windows now? Are they that kamikaze like? Okay. So we're getting sweaty. But we we seem to have cleared this area that we want to clear around the bookshop, you know. I've not been checking probably those corpses in as much detail as I perhaps should. Is the door open? It is. No one's in here. Okay. Let's take the books as well because we don't take loads of them but a, f a few. I just heard someone. Did I check the whole thing? Okay, we actually we want our skills up here too. This is scary. Um, my heart, my heart rate is starting to go. I fucking love this game. Okay. Already read, already read. Got that one ready. Fishing for beginners. We've read. Advanced cooking. We've got yeah. Tailoring for beginners, that's a big one. We definitely want that. Foraging for intermediates, we've read that already. Trapping for beginners, we've read already. Advanced foraging, we've got. Advanced fishing, we've got. Read those magazines. Farming for beginners, we've read. Slash made obsolete 
Yep, yeah, okay, all well, that's good. Electricity for beginners, we've read. Electricity for meters we've got, expert mechanics we've got, generators we've got. So actually, it doesn't look like we're getting that much out of this. Foraging for intermediates we've read already. Cooking for beginners we've read. Advanced tailoring. We didn't have any tailoring books as far as I'm aware. Let's take two more of these. It's just these two now. Right, metal work for beginners we've already read. Fishing for beginners we've already read. Damn. Right, expert first day, we clearly don't have that yet. But not really the best, is it? Let's take a few more books then. Or is that full? I can't see with where this webcam is placed. No, okay. Let's put a few more books in there. So we're taking back with us nine books. Should we round it up to ten or something? That's quite a lot of weight, isn't it? Yeah. Clothes weigh quite a lot too, don't they? Let's put three back and let's sneak out the front door see if we can find a closed shop buffet there I mean, there's a chance we get some decent food out of that that window is going to smash in a minute let's clear these two we'll definitely hear the window smash maybe get my riverside map not annotated in fact we already found an annotated riverside map didn't we we came here and it was like an empty house I think okay so that's the church so we could actually try a bit of gigamart oh fuck where did you come from blimey that was close that was terrifyingly close you know what? I heard that scissors are important for tailoring. Yes, sir. Whew, that scared me. That was so close. Yeah, if we do these... Wait, we haven't just pulled all of those guys, have we? I think we have. Yeah, we got three there. It was the one that was in, that was in the buffet. That was the one that got us. And that's the clothes shop over there, Fashion Bell. Okay. This might be too many. Okay, but we did get the one hit kill. I don't like back to the alleyway too much. That's not doing it for me. I have to admit, I do love a spear. <laughs> the other place we could go to get really good clothes would be the fireman's. Spare kitchen knife? No, I think we've, we're fine. Oh, go on. Why not? I'm actually just going to move this just to there, just so I can see the value. There's a little lip on the bottom of the webcam where it clips to the monitor and it's obviously designed for monitors with thicker borders <laughs> than mine. <laughs> so that little bit that clips onto the top of the monitor just obscures my view of that number. It's pretty awful design to be honest. I don't know if I, I need to come up with a workaround to put something thick on the top of the monitor to attach it to. Okay, but we've nearly cleared the area in front of the clothes shops. That's good. But yeah, like a few sets of fireman's clothes would be probably better than anything we're going to find in this clothes shop. But let's see. You never know. That's probably a spear level right there, isn't it? Right, okay, so that's the spear that's done now. Yeah. 
Ähm. Hm. Put them both into our inventory. Two spares, I like. Then we can just equip that. Whip it out. Just in time, baby. Okay, we looks like we need another cabbage. Was it the spear that we did level up? Oh, someone's behind us. Yes, it was. Oh, where you came from. But you can head right back. That one's going to end up smashing through. Look, we could get like a sexy Santa outfit. That's amazing. Let's do Oh, I've heard. I was literally about to say I've heard that in this update they're way more scary when they come through windows. Turns out that was true. Don't really understand how he got my arm there as well. There was still a lot of distance. I fell over, but there was a lot of distance. So that felt like a bit of a bump, to be honest. Anyway, it's disinfected. Did I finish disinfecting it? Let's just do it again for safe measure. Bandage that up. Unbelievable. So yeah, basically when they go through a window now, you just you actually need to keep your distance. It's not like, oh great, they're going through a window, let's fight them. It's the exact opposite. It's like, stay nice and far away. Okay, no one else is coming still. If that scratch is an infection, I'm going to be pretty pissed off. Because we can watch back that footage. That was pretty unfair and unrealistic, <laughs> I would say personally. Like, that was surely riskier, opening a door that one is already leaning against and trying to open. is surely riskier than what I was doing when, they, when it fell through a window next to me. Do you know what I mean? That's a bit mad. Right. The boots are not as good as the military boots, eh? The long gloves do nothing. A Santa suit jacket. It's going to be... Hmm. Let's just take them because it's funny. Like... Right? <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Long gloves and the boots. Do we want to be sexy Santa or do we just want to be Santa? We just want to be Santa. Long gloves, that's just not. Right. Air Force helmet. Air Force overalls. Let's take them because they strike me as being rare. Oh, we're actually fully booked. Okay, is there anything we want to kind of jettison here like maybe two tree branches that probably weigh a huge amount each in fact this is a good question how much do the spears weigh are they actually way more than the branches do okay that is interesting still so we're doing the right thing. A sweater. I kind of feel like that's the kind of thing we need. We'll need in winter when we start getting really cold. Books. Tote bag. Belt. I think we could probably just replace belt with belt. I mean, it's only dirty, but whatever. Let's have a clean one instead. Kind of fairly empty <laughs> clothes shop. They don't really have much, do they? We'll take a tank top and some socks. Was that when we full again? Should we eat a cabbage, seeing as we're in such bad shape? Maybe take the bandage out. Does that give us room for the tank top now? No. Well, we'll chuck it in our main inventory. And I think we probably want to take the boots too, like a spare set of boots. 
Who can argue with that? Take the gloves, why not? Okay, and I think now we head back to the car. Maybe have a smoke on the way. <laughs> Honestly, if that scratch kills us, it's a bump. It's a fucking bump. I think that the scratches are... I can't remember. Have the scratches been... No they used to be 25%. I think they got reduced and laceration is worse than a scratch now. I don't want to walk too quick, actually. That's probably dumb. I end up just getting way too much attention. Let's move away from that group before we fight this one. Oh my god. It's pretty hardcore, that one there. I was hoping to find more jeans, if I'm honest. Because denim, I've heard, is pretty good for tailoring. Get the next spear on the go. Oh man. We are getting a lot of attention here. I mean, most of that Gigamart is going to be rotten stuff I would think. Oh yeah, we're getting cover of darkness now, which is good though. They're hearing us, but they're not seeing us. So that's good. We could even get a little crouchy run. Sneaky run on. A sneaky run. Oh, but we don't want to get too close to where we gathered them all up before, which is over there. Yeah, actually I don't really like being down here. I think I want to be back at the main road. See if we can't just sneaky run between these two groups here. In the darkness, they'll lose us quickly. Yeah, we got a nice bit of open terrain here. Goody good. Good, good, good. Yeah, and indeed we are getting drowsy. So I think unless it's really busy around the ambulance, we might just sleep in the ambulance right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit. It's pretty busy around the ambulance. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Uh, three. I think we can deal with three. There we go. We've got one seen us. Yeah, that's a nice little staggering of attention there. When this spear goes, we don't have another one. Uh oh, I feel like I haven't checked my six in a while. We've got all of the wrong moodlets right now. All of the worst ones. Haven't looked behind me in a while. Okay. Okay, I don't think we can give them the run around here, but let's try. It will at least split them up a bit. Going for a little loop here. We are in the dark, which does help. Massively. OK, 
and then a snake. I don't, I don't think they followed. They might have done. No, they seem to be all be lost now. Oh god damn it! <laughs> Where did those those guys must have heard the original beef? This is bad news. How long it's taking to just get one kill. It's a bad sign. If those are like some denim overalls, I think they might be a good item of clothing to have, no? Overalls and the denim shirt, bloody and worn. Bloody and worn's bad, isn't it? Denim shirt's good. We are too hot already, though. But look, if we just get this kill here, I think then we can take the ambulance for a sleep. This stomping is bad. So many are going to hear it. We need to change a bandage too, which is also something that only draws too much attention. Because I think they can smell the blood, can't they? Anyway, we've got to do it. Okay, it's not bleeding already, so that's a sign that it's probably not that serious a scratch. There's nothing in here apart from the cabbages that we want to keep. I want to put the tree branches in our main inventory because we're going to need to make some things out of them. And then I think the cabbages can go in our main inventory too for now. All the rest of that stuff can just go in the transfer all. Moderate exertion, only moderate, that's all right. Just get all this packed away. The Santa suit is going to be good. If we survive till Christmas Day, we got a nice outfit to wear. Okay, very nice, very nice. We did it. Boots and tank top, they need to go in too. The cabbages can all go back in the bag, I suppose. As we're using the spear now, the second bag isn't really very useful. The broken spears can just go on the floor. Okay, I'm happy with that. Get in the car. Can we do crafting in the car? I presume we can. Make our spears. But they do, they end up weighing more once you've converted them into spears, so that's worth keeping an eye on. But still, it's cool. And then, can we do the equipping now? We can, okay. So that's good, so one of them becomes on our belt. And then I think we have to just try and sleep in here. Oh. Is it V? V. Lock all doors. And have a sleep. Uh oh. Sounds like there's one outside. Okay, so what you do, you switch to that seat, jump out the other side, and get away. Okay, so we did it. Oh my god, no. 
not quite what I wanted to do. <laughs> Shout at them. <laughs> okay, but we're nice and fresh. I'm ready to fight this morning. Yeah, so we're getting the one-hit kills like no one's business when we're nice and rested. March Ridge map, no. Um, where's that dirty bandage? It's there, so we'll clean that. We'll do a little bandage change. Ah, healed. Okay, well, we'll clean the other one too. Get those back in the bag. I think we might have survived that, which is good because honestly, that was p pretty unfair. I think what happened <laughs> with that window. We've learned our lesson. I had already read comments to that effect online, but I didn't think it would be like that. Oh, excellent. Anything nice and fatty is good. We should probably try and save it for winter, but we are also still losing weight, I think. So it could be one to eat now. Although we want to use up our cabbages, don't we? While they're fresh. Okay, so next mission will be, let's try and get a bed. I want a double bed. Which means we need to get into the residential part of town. So let's try and do that. And it may be easiest to go for the apartment blocks actually. Down the main road. I think tackling Gigamart is probably a mistake. But it would be amazing. To uh, harness all of those. All of those resources. I don't know. Let's do a little bit of a recce by walking past and looking in. That's weird. That's they're not really. There we go. Doesn't look like there's many dudes in there. We are about to drag a lot of them. So let's maybe drag them all around the back instead. Down this way. Whoa! That was weird. Got caught on a shrub. I've not seen that before. If we bring all these guys around to the back, that's probably going to be helpful. If we want to go in the front. I love how the buildings all start to degrade. It's so cool. It's just like such an immersive game. The back door is actually open, like ready for us to go in. This looks like a good killing field. They're all nicely spread out, coming on a long walk. I'm a little bit concerned that we only have three spears left. We're getting through them quickly. Oh, and those guys have all stopped. All right, well, it will be all processed food in the back here. So let's see what we can do. See if we can't creep in. Ooh, we have a tough cookie there. A tough customer. Yeah, those guys are all still calm. Snatch and grab time, I think. Oh, no, sir. We are not that hungry. <laughs> we just bail from that situation. We just completely bail. That should be enough to get away from those guys. That one's not seen us. Been sneaky enough. So I think we did this row of houses, is my memory. Last time we came to Rosewood, we did this row. So we kind of want to be, well, we want to be avoiding all those guys. 
Okay, we did manage to get one supportive follower. Get on the float. So let's try and dodge them lot. Should we try and head to the fire department? It's quite a long way to go. But getting some fireman's clothes would be... Very cool. Seeing as we've come for clothes, like... That's about as good as it gets, clothes-wise. Okay, that guy's got quite a lot of nice clothes on him. Like the jacket that's in decent condition. Sweater, I'm not really that fussed about the pants. But yeah, that even the plain jackets still aren't actually that good. They're pretty medium. Like it's all the fireman stuff and the military things that are better, right? Okay, good condition lighter is excellent. And that's new, I think, in this re very recent build, isn't it? This impossible to launch build. <laughs> okay, hello. Hey man, Hochmeister. You know what? I haven't even been to Moldra, mate. I haven't even shown my face. <laughs> I've just been chilling here. I'm come back to what's this? Rosewood again. Partly for the fire department, partly because I know it's less busy than Mordra. <laughs> Mordra scares me. We'll go there one day when we're desperate. Okay, so that crew there, I don't want to really engage with either. Okay. That'll do. Try and sneak through. And get to that fence and hop it. And that's where the fire uh, fire department is. We should see a few firemen zombies there. With the garments we are looking for. No. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Wow. Tough cookie. Tough crowd. A little Smokey Joe there. Cheeky little Smokey Joe. Okay, so we need to stay away from the fence now. It's not like fight them at the fence. No, sir. Oh, he didn't see me. He must have just heard me. Okay, this looks like a safe place to attempt a crossing. Crossing successful. Okay, let's see if we can't bag ourselves some garments. What we got here? This window could be a good entry point. Seeing as we're looking pretty clear in there, yeah. I'm gonna check the front just because I don't want to be surprised. In fact, if this door opens, no. Doesn't. Let's check the front. The front door is open, so maybe we should proceed that way. Check a few more windows on our way round as well. It's a shame there's no, um, we can refill our water in there. Shame there's no, like, fire vehicles out here. They're, they can be pretty nice. And they crucially have a siren. So this is the only place where I've ever found, like, good tools. In the fire department. In those crates there. The rest of it is usually 
surprisingly kind of disappointing, actually. We might find a good amount of food upstairs. That could be a good thing. Fill our bottles here. Okay. So far, so good. We'll take the nails. Can't get enough of that kind of thing. Mint candy we'll take. That's good too. Now, I think you can get good stuff here, but I just never have. Have we, we have, let's just dismantle that right here, right now, just for some, for some points. God, you get hardly anything. Don't really want to keep any of this crap on me. Because it's, that's one of the things that's going to be hard to level out in the sticks where we are. Although it also might just not be that important to level for the playthrough we're doing. I think these are like um, first aid. Yes, yeah, so we could take some of the good stuff. The normal, the bandages are good, aren't they? I think we've got pretty much everything else, but let's take another bottle of disinfectant because you can't have enough, and we'll probably there's probably nothing else that's worth taking. Like we don't just overload on this stuff, you know. <clears throat> enough is enough as they say now the weird thing is, is we've seen no <laughs> no zombies here so we've got no okay all the scissors again like if they take condition then we should take a few of them spare pair of s nice clean socks the skirt I don't think is of any interest the t-shirt's fine like Sports shorts, no, they're not providing anyone any protection at all. Not interested, Mike. Sack, lead pipe and a wrench. Let's take the thread. Let's read that book we've not read before, a magazine or whatever. I'm gonna take the gas can. Just because we can just chuck it into our van. Hello. Okay, let's head upstairs then. Being up here is a little bit risky because if we get cornered up here... Like, if there's tons flooding up the stairs, we've that's we've only got one way out. Aside from jumping out a window, which... I probably don't want to do. More cigarettes in there. Let's just check that this room is indeed, like, empty. Mechanics for beginners. Hello. That's one of the big ones we've been looking for. Okay. In the long run, it'd be nice to come back for the pool table. Be a nice addition to our base, wouldn't it? Do you want to take the empty gas can? Collecting gas cans is quite a good thing, I think, isn't it? Right. The water we don't need, but let's take the Chardonnay, definitely. I like, I like me a boozy situation. Right, that's all really good news. Let's grab all of that. Take the salt as well, why not? Box of shotgun shells we'll take, and the needle we'll take. And the cigarettes we'll take. Okay. Well, I think there's locker rooms, isn't there? Should we check the locker rooms for fireman's clothes? But we didn't seem to find any of the lockers downstairs. I don't think that's how it works. I think you need to find the zombies. 
with them on, don't you? Let's see, anyway. The lockers will have clothes in and things. Things that we're interested in regardless, I think. No, apparently they'll just have pens. Yeah, just loads of pens. The hiking bag we've got. We'll take the scissors again for our new venture into tailoring. Bummer. What a dud. Actually, given that we're drowsy, we should sleep a night up here. That makes perfect sense. So let's have ourselves a cabbage or two. <laughs> should we take two of them? Might as well. Let's have a sleep. Yeah, if we wake up to zombies at the door of this room. <laughs> it's like, there's going to be limited options at that point. Okay, we're good. And actually, we've woken up at two in the morning, which is awesome. Because it'll be nice and dark for our continued exploration here. But actually... There's not much more for us to do here. Let's head out the front door again and see if there are any firemen zombies lingering that we just missed. Yes, that guy. Is that guy one? It's only got stripes. Looks fluorescent. I've managed to grab his attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are firemen gums, aren't they? So let's try and get quick kill. Let's make it a clean one. Yeah, spare pair of military boots on this guy and all. We'll have all of that. Wait, hang on. Yeah, they're not coming. Okay. I mean, in fact, should we just change into them right now? Military boots we've got already. And wow, it's still this one still has a hole in the lo like everything we've got is just getting lower torso holes like. Okay, that guy's got a spare pair of fireman pants on. I see you. I see your pants. Okay, that's one spear down. Got any more goons around this corner? Wow, some of these... Some of these are pretty hardened. So the denim, we'll take the denim because we can cut it up and make a denim patch. That guy's going to be a crawler. Because I don't think I killed him when he fell down. <laughs> Spare military boots on this guy there as well. And some fire fire pants, excellent. So if we look here, we've got some jeans and the police jacket. We want to we keep both of those. They're like good backup garments that we can wash and repair back at the base. Mud. Oh, is it? Oh, I see. I'm like, I'm inflicting the, uh, the holes. Bruv, that does make a lot of sense. That does make a lot of sense. So we can just, we'll, we'll, the next fireman we see will bang out a hammer. Basically, <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, sweet. 
Um, we're getting a little heavy though. I guess the gas is the thing to drop. Then again. I don't see any more firefighters. There may be some round this corner, I suppose, that I've missed. I could take a quick look at. No, none around there. Hmm. Yeah, welcome back, man. Oh, classic. Classic. Yeah, no worries. Good, have a good trip, man. That's definitely a noble cause. <laughs> see you in a bit. Come on then, there we go. They seem to have made like jeans quite a lot wear like rarer, it seems. I see very few people wearing jeans now. Well, they used to be pretty common, I thought. What about up there? There's a dude, is he? Hmm. There's like a distinct lack of, of firefighters around here. <laughs> Yeah, it does seem to be with the spear, whatever they're wearing on their torso ends up in bad condition. Very interesting. I guess at this point, like waiting for more zombies to spawn around here is probably unlikely. We've got off another full backpack, so it's probably the best thing to do is to just... Sneak sprint home down the main road to the car because we're not going. There's a policeman over there. That could be interesting. I think it's a copper, isn't it? Let's see what their clothes look like. Maybe with a, a hammer kill. Deputy jacket is like crap, man. Compared to the. So is the fireman's jacket really that good? 50 and 70, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it does make sense. Like, fighting fires is the next level to fighting people. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's get out of here. We got a full bag, don't we? Yeah, pretty much. We gather quite a lot of food, like... Good things. And I feel like we've got enough clothes now that we can wash. And re attempt some... Some decent repairs on. Keep this little sprint run going. Get the spear out. I wonder if like you find fire fighters in the burned down houses. That would be a good little addition. I mean, we've got following us. No, let's not. Let's not get tempted by... Well, let's just see if this door's open. No, neither of those ones open. And the other one's got a goon on it. We didn't end up procuring a bed. So maybe we just should spend one more day here. I'm pretty sure the cabbages back home will last like 72 hours or whatever without being watered. 
It's starting to get lighter. We need to be careful here. We don't gather too many up before we get back to our our vehicle. Take the long way around that little group there. Starting to get a bit knackered. Okay, looking good. There are a few moving around by the ambulance down there. How much exertion have we got? Moderate. Can't rest, can we just sit on the ground? Feels like a little bit of a mistake. <laughs> Okay, so we kind of filled that chair already. Anyone behind us? Anything in there we want to keep on us, the cabbages? I'm, out, yeah, I'm actually just going to transfer all and then we'll just take back the first aid stuff that we want afterwards. Because we also picked up some extra first aid stuff that we... And get rid of the military boots we've got on. They're dirty and bloody, but they're oh yeah, they're not in the best condition either. We're missing a foot. <laughs> I always get so nervous transferring stuff like this to the back of a car when you can't turn around. Scary. Oh yeah, and the gas can. We actually don't. We want to. We want to just dump it into the into the vehicle. Okay. Good. Gas can goes in there. Let's replace military boots with military boots. Get rid of those bad ones. There we go. Oh man, if only we had... If we... Yeah, it's a shame. It might be worth going back to the fire department again on the next day. Because I think we can do one more day's looting here, definitely. At least. We want to take one of those with us and two of those with us. Okay. We're gonna run out of food here in a little bit of time. Let me just do one of these quickly. Just remind myself the lay of the land over here. Because we've got, there's a bar up there we could look at, but that's not. It would be these big houses up here might be good places to go and look for the bed and things that we want. Or the apartments, because they'll all have probably similar, similar beds in, right? Yeah, just like one like that would be fine. And it looks like that's the same one in there. So if we could get up into there, if it wasn't too rammed. We'd have a good chance, probably, of securing the four pieces we need from breaking down two beds. And there's more of the same ones there. Okay, interesting. Let's see what we can do. We don't want to grab any attention with us. this time do we and we're also going to get 
tired soon. But that's why heading for an apartment should be fine. The other option would just be to go for one of the motel beds, but if we're getting an upgrade and we're getting one that isn't crafted, then we should we should aim for a double bed. It's just a better look in it. Like go big or go home sort of thing, you know. And I shall not be going home. Okay, can do these two in, I think. I guess the other thing we want to look out for is some broken doors where we might find a plank or two to make a few more spears because after this one I don't think this is our last one I think the next I think we've got one more yeah we've got one more oh shit I love how easy it is to miss those shots when they're on the floor now Six. Check your six. That's a pair of jeans and a nice pair. Good condition. Let's take them. Even if it's just for patch making. Nice pair of socks. Take those. In fact, here's a thing. I'm just going to take one pair of shoes. I presume... We'll test it when we get to the car, and if so, we might grab a few more before we leave. Presumably the shoes are where we can pull leather. Or maybe that's just from boots. But your leather patches, I hear, are pretty good as well. Right, let's see what we can do here, because we did clear this area out quite a bit earlier anyway. And there's the entrance to the apartments is just is that door right there. Right, okay, so there's a couple. Do we pull anyone from behind us? No. Let's deal with these two. Okay, very nice, very nice. Double bag, not interested. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's annoying. Okay, let's see about the other apartments then. That is, that one's broke. That's there. Leather strips come from coats. Uh -huh. Okay. Interesting. I'll leave those shoes behind then. <laughs> a couple of planks on the floor around here as well which is looking useful they both hurt god damn it and so did that guy Felt a little bit close for comfort. Nice. I made up for it. Another pristine pair of jeans there. Well, they weren't actually pristine. But whatever. They were good enough. Right. Door hinges and doorknobs, actually, we want. We can't make doors without them at our base. So grabbing door hinges and doorknobs is actually something we want to do. So I think 
we want in the long run we want like a this is where my old base was this is where Eugene lived good old Eugene I hate these T-junction corridors just try and pull them out Pull them out into the street. I don't trust this. So scary. I am so scared. Okay, we've got someone down there as well. So let's bring them out. Come out to play. Nice. Okay. Do we actually want to head down that corridor and just shut that door? That might alert more that are in that corridor at the back then and then they just end up breaking the door down. So maybe we just leave it. My God, my heart. <sighs> that was terrible. Okay, that would never has there been a better time for a one hit kill than just that. House key, should we take it in case we come across a locked door? So let's take this jacket. I think that's what Mud's talking about. I think those will be the ones that will give us the leather strips. Let's systematically do these. Oh, it's so weird to be back. Carpentry for intermediates we don't even need. Nope. Right, this bed. This is the bed we want. We're going to come back for it, though. Because we want to make sure... Firstly, we might want to sleep in it before we dismantle it. Rotten peas. It's a damn shame. Who lets good peas go to waste? Okay, didn't we take a set of jeans that weren't in perfect condition? So get rid of them. Get rid of these shoes. Take the nice jeans instead. Sweet. Now that bed's a different type of bed, I think. Isn't it? Large oak bed. We'll have to check what they call that other type with the darker wood. Oh dear. Presumably they came from... One of the other apartments up here. If they're coming from the street or something like that, then that's potentially really bad news. We might find ourselves getting overwhelmed up here. There is nothing quite like it, this game. Melted ice cream, amazing. That'll fatten us up nicely. That's also a large oak bed with the lighter wood. So those two are like a pair in case we were to miss a piece. Okay, we've got a couple planks there. Oh, and a doorknob. We want the doorknob. Rotten something. More melted ice cream. Amazing. We are tired now. I think we still probably want to finish clearing out this top floor though. My heart, honestly. So this one, what's this called? Large modern bed. Yeah, so they are, they're different. 
designs. I could also maybe take that, take one of the carpets. It could be a nice thing for <laughs> making a house a home. Baseball bat, I'm not that fussed about, to be honest. Okay, that one is a fancy bed. Right, two secs. All right, yo guys, I'm afraid duty's calling. It's uh, time for me to uh, go and look after a baby that's just woken up. <laughs> so it's kind of a fitting end, I think, to our session here. We've just finished clearing out this diamond pattern sweater. We're just gonna finish clearing out this these two apartments here so we know this top floor's good, and then we'll pick one to sleep in. Right, okay, so hello. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better result there. Rotten peach, rotten salmon. We're finding an... A worryingly small amount of... Uh, we just hardly found any. Farming for intermediates, I think we've... Red, yeah. So there are quite a few different beds here and we would probably be unlucky not to get a whole one doing the dismantling given we've got decent carpentry skill on the go at the moment. So let's just check these are all good. Okay. The soap, the soap is the thing. Okay, no, no, she has a smashed window, which is super weird. Fingerless gloves, they don't give any protection, they just look cool. Okay, well, let's sleep in here. I hope that the zombies can't see us through these not only open but smashed windows. In fact, wait before we do. See a cabbage or two. Just one is fine, I think. Let's have a sleep. It's going to take a couple of trips as well back and forth between here and the ambulance to get the full bed back um, but that's where I'm gonna call it for today's stream had a couple of hours pretty good and um, sorry mud you're gonna <laughs> you can be gutted when you get back mate <laughs> um, but I'll be back on it tomorrow I think We've got a Terra Firma craft stream tomorrow as well, tomorrow in the afternoon. And then I fancy playing a bit more Zomboid in the evening. So yeah, we're going to get back on this thing. Um, so yeah, thank you all very much uh, for watching. And I'll uh, see you next time. Peace out. Peace out.